Curtis. Curtis is here. So I see you first, Curtis. How's my sound? Am I here? How's my microphone working? Anthony, hello. I'm gonna put this here for now. And, uh, well, sounds good. Well, good. I'm gonna, uh, I'm going to wait a couple minutes here to see if a few people jump on and uh, just so you know fellas I can't see your comments real well I have to stop what I'm doing and look around a big arm that has my camera on it to see him so I'll try to check in with them, but I'll do my best not to uh, ignore anybody, but um, I might accidentally miss somebody. Mark House Seal, we got the House Seal Brothers. So, uh, you know, I have a brother, and uh, it's really important to know when you've got brothers, a uh, brother, who would win in arm wrestling. Uh, so, which one of you, which who's, who's going to win? Anthony versus Mark, arm wrestling. Who wins, guys? Who's worse? Mm. I don't know. I don't really know Mark real well. I mean, you met him really quickly. So, um, who's worth worse? Justice's brother or Anthony's brother? I can definitely tell you that Justice is the worst. Hello, J. Mac. Yeah, we got enough people here. Hopefully people will catch on. But I'm going to get started because I'm not going to keep you here all night. We've got Mythic Lead, or, uh, Mythic Conversations coming up a little later. And I'm not going to compete with, with, the, with the LBC, so... Uh, I just thought this would be fun. Um, got a Legion Builder in, or a Deluxe Legion Builder here. They're pretty cool, man. I'm really, I'm pretty, really impressed with these, uh, especially at the price point that they come at. Lots of sculpt here, lots of crevices and pitting and all this stuff around, and these beautiful sculpts. But the reason these can be so, uh, at such a good price point is... They don't have a lot of paint apps. Now, I mean, you still do get a lot of paint apps. I mean, look, the whole body's painted. I mean, there's still a lot of value here. So, um, these guys look sweet as just a bunch of troops. Left as they are, but for the customizing community, these are gold. So, I thought this would be fun to just kind of mess around with one and do some things. So, we'll start... Tear them apart. Um, I don't know how far I want to take them down right now because we're gonna we're gonna cut. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna focus on this helmet. Um, like I said, it's really cool. 
Um, but I think we can drag some detail out of it. So, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put it on the end of my pencil. And the second thing I'm going to do is find my black. Just right here, and I know this is almost empty. So I'm anticipating this to be dry, but I want to make sure. I got to fill it back up. No big deal because I have a ton of it right here. Well, I don't know about a ton, but I've got enough to do what we need to do. Probably enough right there. Not a bad idea to wash your figures before you do this. At least people tell me. I have not washed this. But, uh... I'm a barbarian, so I do what I want. I used to wash all my figures before I painted them if they were factory, paint jobs on them. Lukewarm water, use Dawn dish soap, get any grease off them. Um, I used to do that. I don't do it so much anymore. Um, I don't notice a difference between not doing it and doing it. So... They don't seem to hold up better to me than from my personal experience. If you do do it, I mean that you're not that that factory paint job isn't is probably the best bonded paint you're going to ever get. It's to be just if there's a you know coating in between the two or on it like a grease or something to make the paint not stick to it. Um. And with legions, I haven't really had that problem. So basically, I'm just going to paint this whole dang thing black. And I'm still going to kind of give it a, a different color than the rest of them, because I think that's cool. But step one, we're just going to... We're just going to get in here. Put some black on this guy. And we're going to move on. We're going to let him dry while I go somewhere else. Can you guys see better now than with my other videos? I, I think I set up a better light. So hopefully it was... Uh, I was able to pick up a goldish bronze head at Power Coffin Lord Steve. It looks great on the magnet. Oh, yeah. For sure, man. I remember that. Yeah, I think that's a, um, what we called an angel head that you bought. Now, a lot of people, if you want to be fast about this, spray it. But, I'm not going to do that here. I'm just going to put this on. It's going to be fun. It's going to look cool when we're done. I like this. Uh, this paint is very flat, and I want to have that look even though mostly today I'm going to be playing with I'm going to be doing um, we're going to be messing around with metallics so so I'm not repainting skin 
today. So this is good stuff, what I'm showing now uh, for beginners. You've probably, anybody who's watched painting videos from other people probably will have seen a lot of the stuff I'm going to do today. So there's that. It honestly doesn't matter if there's a bunch of spots that I miss here too much because later on it's all going to blend. So I'm going to stick them over here, which you guys can't see. But basically, he's going to sit there and dry. Did you see pieces I missed around there? Oh, look at that big piece I missed. Look at this. Big pieces count. We're not worried about tiny little pieces. I'm painting at an odd angle because I'm painting so you guys can see. So let's see here. I think that that will work. Thoughts on Travis's snip snip and do you think you can customize it or paint it to make it look pretty? Thoughts on Travis's snip snip. Hmm. You're talking are you are you talking about a vasectomy? Um anytime any way that we can make Travis so he can't reproduce, I think is a benefit to society. Um so yeah. <clears throat> now, what do we do with this? We definitely got to bring some of this cool stuff out. So, do I paint it black like I just did the head, or do? <sighs> How deep do we want to go? How many pieces, cool pieces do we want to have on this when we're done? Hmm. You know what? I got the black paint out. Let's do it. I could I thought about painting the black earlier. So it was all done for you guys, but I was like, no, nah, I want to start. I want to show, I want to do it in real time. And if we only get a few pieces done tonight, no biggie. Get inside the eyes. Just kind of slop it in here. Oh, this, this could be cool. We're bringing out. We're gonna bring out some details. We're gonna see exactly what Treadway right put into these pieces. They're not Todd McFarlane pieces, so there's no, there's, I don't think there's a lot of sex in them. That's what he likes to put in his pieces, apparently. He likes a little bit of sex in them, yeah. So PowerCon was cool. Had a lot of fun, met a lot of people. Um, 
Yeah. Saw a lot of cool things. Guys, man, if you guys... If you guys slept on the Cosmic Legions, you were in trouble. I know you think... I don't need them or whatever it is. But I saw those early, like, I don't know what you call them. If you call them a test shot or what, it, what you call it. Damn. Like, I'm way more excited for them than I was. All right, so I got a big piece of foam over here that you guys can't see. I'll set it over here on that. I'm going to get some paint on my fingers. We'll just let those two little pieces there kind of dry. That's right, I just stuck my hand in some water. Clean water. Now those are going to be big change pieces. I just tape painted them all black. I'm going to dry brush them. We're going to have some fun. So we're going to do big changes to those. But let's let's just show you a little bit here about what we can do that's small while those are drying. That makes huge differences. <clears throat> With not much. Um, not much going on. I'm going to use a color here. If I can find it. Oh, where did I put it? Right here. This is True Copper. It's an Army Painter Cop color. It's one of my favorite metallics to use. Um, and why don't we just paint some rivets and stuff? And I'll show you how we can take a... piece that you think might be somewhat bland and make it awesome. Anyone can do this. How many can I do this? This is a cool little. This is difficult because I'm not in my I'm not in my position if that makes sense because I'm trying to keep it so where you guys can kind of see it and I don't even know if I'm succeeding because I can't see the camera on the back here now there's all kinds of like 
detail in this thing. So there's there's a uh, like cracks and creases and everything in the leather. So if I wanted to paint repaint this whole thing and do some dry brushing and maybe even a little bit of a wash or whatever I want to do, you could drink you could bring out mad mad detail but that's not the purpose I'm trying to show here I'm trying to show how just a little bit of a little bit of uh, something can do a lot let's get some some, some gun metal let's see what we got Stefan, what's going on, man? I thought you could only do that. Why did I say otherwise, Curtis? It's true. You can only do this if you're born with a God-given talent. But I like to I like to encourage people, anyways, for the hell of it. You know, everybody nowadays wants to think that they can do everything. Ooh, I can be anything I want. No, you can't. But anyways, for the purpose of, you know, I guess this, I'll pretend that people can do whatever you set your mind to. Put your daughter on her knee, on your knee, and say, "Oh, you can do anything you want." I didn't raise my kids. I said, aim low. I didn't raise my kids that way. I said, aim low. You won't be disappointed. So I'm assuming that, you know, just to, just, just to mix it up here, the belt buckle on this here piece might be made of a different metal. So this will give it a little bit of a, a little bit of a contrast. Yeah, I'm trying. There, that's kind of cool. Right when I tune in, what, what's going on, buddy? Travis is here. We were talking about you, buddy. Uh oh, what I do? Hope I didn't end anything. Oh. I don't know what that did. I'm looking up here, we'll see. Can you kind of see here? Yeah, it doesn't seem like much, but I guarantee you. And like, you see how I put this? There's a dot there of paint. We're not worried about it. If you were worried about it, your new painters <sighs> you could just put a dot of paint on it we'll just put a little dot of black brown right there where was it oh there it is done Probably won't even see that. Um, Want to get more detailed? We can put a little bit of 
silver. Oh yeah, that's sweet, right? <clears throat> okay, where's our heads at? Or our head. Could use a jump start, so it's going to get loud in here, fellas. See how dull it got? That's what we're looking for. Still a little wet-ish around here. Still a little, there's a couple spots now that I'm seeing, now that this gets so it's not shiny. But the parts I missed are kind of showing up. Not a huge deal. guarantee that when we're done you won't notice it there. <clears throat> let's hit it again that look anyways just black I don't know how that looks Let's have some fun now. So I kind of want to keep it. It was a little bronzy to begin with. So let's keep it that way. I'm trying to figure out which color I want to use. Oh, my light. I want something, fellas. Um, let's go with the weapons bronze. Shaking it up. Let's see what we got for comments. Price Ash is here. Steve sold so much head at power. I did sell some head. Hey Noah, what's going on buddy? I was selling head like crazy. Anybody that would buy head for me, I bought. I sold. I was like, hey, you got any head? I was like, yeah, that's why I'm here. <clears throat> okay, this is uh, one of my favorite brushes. It is a army painter brush, but basically what it is, it's a makeup brush. Um, sometimes I steal these from my daughter. I got a retired one in here somewhere. Right here. See, this is this was a makeup brush, but it's 
I've used it so much now so I learned how to clean these because see this one's stiff as heck it's basically destroyed when I first started using these I would rinse them in my, my water like I do everything else and that doesn't really work so when you're done with these you need to I, I go I get up I go to the bathroom in the other room and I run it under running water and I get it really clean so they uh, they stay in good shape for a while we're gonna do um, some dry brushing and I know many of you know exactly what dry brushing is and this is kind of lame but I'm doing it biggest mistake people make with dry brushing as they don't pay attention to what it's called it's called dry brushing get this damn thing dry okay get that paint off it the more paint you get off it the more control you have you can always put more paint off on it it ain't no big deal it's not no big deal it isn't I don't that poor grammar somehow but you know what I'm trying to say okay so Yeah, it's pretty dry I think we're gonna know in a minute here when I start doing this if it's right and I'm lightly lightly touching it I may have to use more pressure later but for now see there's a still even though I I try to get a lot of paintbrush off or a lot of paint off that brush there's still there's still enough there to Damage. I'm, I'm still being very light very light handed with this and this is going to bring out all our detail obviously what this is doing is it's leaving the dark in the cracks hopefully leaving some paint behind in the high points I think people get in a hurry and they're like I want to just go crazy um take your time get this looking exactly how you want it it's cool to have the, the different variations in there the different darknesses so like now it's getting to the point okay I found a spot on the brush that still had had some paint I was turning the brush if you notice that you don't want this to be uniform cover the color you want this to be darker in spots you know it would it would probably hold grime and dirt in the in the crevices you want that you want that to show up you want these rings around the eyes to pop okay Look how much depth that's giving it already. Pretty cool. Is it my makeup brush, my lord? No. It was my daughter's makeup brush. Well, it is now. This is an actual army painter brush. They come in a set and you can buy them. And you get three in there and but it's 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 a makeup brush I probably paid way too much for this stupid thing okay so now I'm gonna try to make I'm gonna try to make it so that this this piece over his face I'm gonna use the same color but I'm gonna try to make that look more um solid if you will 
I'm going to put more of this color paint on it. So again, get this stuff off. I didn't learn this. I like, I've been dry brushing for years. Because like I said, or I've probably talked about before, is I used to uh, customize G.I. Joe's before ever Mythic Legions, right? And then I got out of it. And I drew, and I dry brushed, but you got to get the crap off. Like, I wasn't doing that enough. I learned that from my friend Chris, Middle Camp, Hobby Lobby, if some of you might know him. Um, awesome painter. And I asked him for some tips when I first started customizing again. And he came over to my house and he watched me dry brush and he said, he just stopped me. He was like, dude, it's called dry brushing, you dippy. I think he called me a dippy. And from then on, I was like, I get it. I was painting chain mail. I was like, why does your chain mail look so damn good? Mine looks okay. He said, like, because you're not dry brushing. You're like moist brushing. All I'm doing is just trying to focus all that color on this visor or this faceplate. There, now it looks like that's got a little bit, it's got a little bit more of a, you know. And it almost looks like two different, two, two totally different colors here. I can go back and add a little more because it's not. Almost looks like you, you I use two different paints. But it's just being light-handed, and then focusing a little bit more. Let's let's focus on this this perpendicular or this up and down vertical is what the word I'm. Let's let's focus a little bit here on that. And see, I'm not trying to get down into here into this area. I'm trying to just stand up. Dry brushing is easy, so I mean, don't let it is easy. And people will tell you it's easy, but to be really good at it, you actually kind of. You got to use some finesse. I don't think that looks cool. Yeah. Now, let's have some more fun. Yeah, that looks actually pretty cool. Put this on here now like i said you could put a ton more more detail into this thing you could paint this little strap that kind of goes over here you could paint that a different color maybe paint it black or a lighter brown and you could put a wash on this you could do all kinds of stuff and make this cooler but that wasn't what i was trying to show so let's just look at him man he's popping already it's a it's a whole it's getting it's getting to be a whole different ball game. <clears throat> Is light handed like limp limp wristed? Yeah. Yup. Here see so like this. You just do that. I should go take that into the other room and wash it out right now. I don't want to ruin that brush and I may have to get up and do that because there see this is so dry already because I've got so much paint on this will dry really you know what screw you guys I'm going to wash my brush you know I'm not going to sit here on Wednesday night and destroy my stuff for you guys There. 
Yeah. While I'm cleaning my brush. Pretty sweet, huh? Now, let's um put some let's put some gold on them. That sounds fun. Oops. I'm going to use some greedy gold. No, oh, I think I'm going to use this brush. Okay. And are we still here. So we're just gonna give his rivets a little a little kiss of color. Kiss. Just a little smooch. Don't go in there and you know get all crazy with the tongue. We're just we're just looking a little little peck. You know? Get in. Get out. Don't get all sloppy. Maybe I'll maybe I'll hit the rim a little. Give it a little color variation, a little, just touch it in spots. You don't even need to do the whole rim because that's how weathered metal kind of works. We'll just touch the, the raised area. See what I'm doing? I'm taking my brush flat almost so I don't touch. Oh, look at that. Nice. I like it. I like this color variation. You can even hit little spots. I'm going to... Maybe just kind of, ooh, that's a little too much. I don't like that. Wipe it away. See? Maybe those are cleaner areas that get scuffed. Maybe on the, maybe a few edges here. Dang, man. I think it looks pretty sweet. Bob Ross and Mythos. <laughs> no perm though. No perm. Okay, now. Oh yeah, we gotta do this. We gotta do this now. Um. Yeah, we gotta get on this. So I'm gonna I'm gonna hit this. I'm gonna hit this with a hairbrush. say this is done for our purposes for tonight I might go in there and, and darken like blacken the eyeballs the back here which it was dark so I might put a little bit of to, to make it black in there again but other than that calling that pretty cool that's good um, let's uh
I'm gonna take some lead belt, lead belcher, lead, lead belcher. Come on, baby. So that works. Now I've got my clean brush. Now this is a little dangerous because my brush is wet now. Um, you don't want it wet. It, you don't want your paint to be wet when you're dry brushing. Even the wet that comes from um, washing your brush can kind of mess you up. So I'm, I'm, I'm doing this to my hand to try to get as much moisture out of there as I can. And same thing, get that thing dry. sides dry you don't want a big glob of paint coming off anywhere okay and again we start out light-handed it's gonna hit these high points now I'm gonna make that skull pop with a different color so I'm not worried about covering the skull but if I'm not worried about hitting the skull either okay It's already starting to pull that all that sculpt, that beautiful sculpt that is there for us customizers to grab a hold of by the back of the collar and pull back and go, get out here where you can be seen. So quick that happens, boom. Now you, if I want this to be shinier, you just keep going. You just keep going and you push in there deeper and you go harder. But I like, I like to have that darkness in the recesses. You know. No. I'm going to go right back into this. This. Was that my true copper? I don't care if it mixes a little silver in there. I'm going to hit the skull. Give it kind of a oh hell yeah. That's what that's doing. Now if you're light handed enough you could almost do it and hit these details too, but I don't I don't think I'm going to. Uh, I'm tempted to try, but you could come back and you could you could hit those with a brush and just really make it cool. And the cool thing about you know, I mean this isn't dry dry, but it, I'm a barbarian like I said, so I just I don't care if I get a little paint on my fingers. Look what we're doing already, man! It's alive. It's alive. So then the last thing I think we'll do tonight before I Hey Lewis. Before I shut this down. 
And, I mean, there's a bazillion more things you could do for more um, detail to come out of this. But I think there, everything I've done tonight, a beginner could do. And there's no reason anybody watching can't do this again as long as you're born with God-given talent to you know paint action figures some people are born with it some people aren't so now I'm just gonna I'm just gonna give it a little bit of I'm gonna hit this link lock Nice and easy again. Keep your brush on top of the the roundness. Don't push too hard because then you'll 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 get into the flat where you don't want the paint. that guys like I said sky's the limit man you can keep going you can do all kinds of crazy stuff here get in here hit all these details in this armor and we could just have ourselves a super detailed gladiator here but for tonight that's probably what I'm going to do here is be done easy beginner level stuff here on a figure that was very very cost effective to to buy and do this stuff with but they didn't they didn't skimp man they didn't skimp on the sculpts they didn't skimp on giving you all that detail to bring the fella to life and line up right with some of your most uh, ornate Mythic Legions figures. Is my, that's my opinion anyway. Thanks for hanging out with me. I'm going to wrap this sucker up. And uh, it's about an hour perfect. If you like these, I'll do more of them. I don't know. We'll see. I think they're kind of fun. And I will, uh, I'll talk to you guys. I'll talk to you guys later.